Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Laura with Stitching with Laura. How's everybody doing? Hope everybody's having a good Thursday. We're getting closer to the weekend. Yay! Let me brighten that up a little bit. How's everybody doing? Um, today we are going to be working on Hands Across the Sea, Jane Marshall, 1857. And before we get started, oh, there's where we're at. I did finish that whole section. But before we get started, do I hear a woohoo? Come on, come on. Are you ready? I finished. Stitch. Time to stitch. Oops, got it upside down. Hang on. I folded it, and sorry, I didn't get it ironed, but, you know. I finished this late last night, and I was like, I'm done. I, I don't want to get out the iron, and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So, here we are, but it is done. And I decided, I don't know, let me bring my light here a little bit. You can't really tell, but I did use like an extra, uh, like a shade higher green to fill in there. I told you it looked like it was blue. That's what it was this one and no that was not happening for me so I will have to like go over it really really good but I got it done and I got my name down there and I just put 20 because I ran out of room because I really didn't start right and that took like 45 minutes to get that figured out so that's as close as it got and I said I can't handle this anymore so, yeah, I am so excited. Now i got to find a frame. I don't think it's going to fit in an 8x10. But, yeah, it's, it's more like 8.5 by, by 6. No, it's going to have to be. About, so if I could find maybe an 8x8. Eight eight, no, that won't work either. So maybe I can get one like a... What is that? A 12 by 12 or 10 by 10? And then put it on like board and then have like some material around the board. You know what I mean? I don't know. I haven't got that far. So we'll see. They have plenty of, um, what do you call it, frames at the thrift store, but I won't be able to get there until Tuesday of next week. So we will see what we do with it from here, but it is a finished object i finished something in 2020 i'm so excited but yeah it, it's gonna look cool i can't get it down far enough to get the whole thing in frame so yeah there we go we'll do it just a little bit sideways yeah so that's done yay next on to the rest put my silly what you call it up holy cow so yeah the other day i just sewed and sewed and sewed some more well i'm done so i finished that section the first pattern is just like this wide and it goes all the way up so there's not much more to that but it'll get the next three layers so we'll just stitch across here how that work and then it starts there's let me show you what i'm talking about Okay, so we're like right here, so it's that piece, a page, is like up here, and it just goes to the 1857. So there's like an R and an S, so it's about that wide. Let me get it down a little bit. There we go. Whoop. Okay, so I got to this, and that's where the edge of that, that first page is. And it's really nice that it has, I'll just come this way so I'm not showing, but it does have the key along here with the um, the three different types, the soy fur fine, or sure fine, and the sol de gere, and then the DMC conversion on each page. So it's really nice that you don't have to keep looking someplace else like some of my patterns are like that so I was listening to people and what they're going to do for September and I come to a, a light 
a light plan, because, you know, we'll see. But so far, this is the plan I've got. I'm going to go through all my stitch things and see which ones are actual samplers, you know, like the one, the this one and the one from Hands Across the Sea. I think pretty much that's all I have is samplers. So I will not change anything. I'll just do one a day, you know, and go from there. But, and I might have to write them down because, you know, I mean, I want to use the ones that are really samplers. So I may have to repeat some during September. But most of them are, are samplers. <coughs> There's a couple like the uh, rose hips and I ivy. It's not a sampler. Hey! Good Lord. Of course, they had to bang their door. I don't know if they're going over there or coming. Maybe they worked last night. They work at the... Molly! At the... Uh, grocery store where my daughter works. So I don't know if they're working nights or not. Because they have people that stock all night. But other than that, I know one of them might do that. But the other one, I thought she was the, the manager in the deli where I worked. But no, you couldn't pay me enough to go back there. They just can't afford me. That's what I keep telling them because I really don't want to have to do that again. That was like a nightmare. Oh, Lord. So, I did nothing but stitch on time to stitch last night. But I want to get it framed. And I don't want to have to send it nowhere. I just want to do it myself. And we'll see how that goes. Because I've never framed needlework before. If I have, it's been a hundred years. And I don't quite remember how all this goes. But we'll just kind of wing it. And do the best we can. I'm going to have to get a big enough frame. Like I said, they had a whole bunch of frames. But I don't want to put it in something, you know, big like an 11 by 14 or anything like that. I, you know, unless I absolutely have to. And then I'm going to have to have material to go around the edges. Which I can get because I can get cotton material at that sewing store. So it might take a while. I may do a video on that. Just so you can see how easy or how hard it is. We'll see. But I was watching uh, Niecy Lynn. And uh, I think her name is Niecy. Um, she did one on little bitty ones. You know, ones that were like 4 by 6 or 5 by 7 size. Or even a squared size. She did a really good job, so... All I got to do is figure out how to get that done. And I do have some double-sided tape. I don't have any sewing tape, but they may sell that there. This might require ordering something from Amazon. I'm not real sure. So, we will see. We'll just have to see what we can come up with. But I'm excited to do that, so... It'll get done. I don't think... They don't have too good of a selection. <coughs> Molly, hush! Molly says hi. <coughs> hey! Sorry, guys. Um. Stuck. <coughs> then I'm about to run out of threat. There we go. Come on. We just got to get across. This is a pretty color. This is... This is 3815. It's kind of a turquoise, more on the green side, but it does have a little bit of blue in it, so it's kind of pretty. But you know me, I love teals. That's it. That's the word. It's a teal. <laughs> Jeez. I'm talking to my daughter this morning. I gotta go make a video. Uh, I thought it was 10 o'clock already. I'm like, well, I could get it done, and you know, my brain's spinning. 
I could get it done, and then I could upload it when I got home, and I'm like, oh, wait a minute, it's only 9 o'clock, we're good. Oh, jeez, I'm telling you. And, yeah, we probably just did this last week, but sorry, it was the first thing that I could find. And I didn't want to get too more, much more involved. And, you know, it's all in, in what, what we're capable of here. Okay, whoops. Cut this big old piece of blue thread. Hang on. It came from the time to stitch. I'm like, I wasn't using that color. Jeez. So, yeah, so excited to get that done. I was like, there was lots of cutting. There was dog barking. There was dog shaming. She thought I was yelling at her. Oh, yeah, it was great. And then I stabbed my finger about 15 times. And there was lots of frogging. I was like, oh, my God, just finish it. Yeah, I really wanted to just finish it. Okay, so the first color we need is 312. Isn't that pretty? It's a lovely Christmas color. Mm. It's the red that's in there, so there's these flowers that are going to start right here. So we're just going to start on that little corner and and go from there. Yes, oh, I was like, I already had some wound out. I'm telling you, I try to get ahead, and then I'd end up, yeah, it's not good. Today's Thursday, finally. Oh, yay. Yay, yay, yay. So. It's another long day, so. Yesterday wasn't too bad. It, you know, wasn't nearly as busy as it has been, but today's Friday. No, today's Thursday. Whew. But some days, Thursdays can feel like Fridays at this place. So. Are you kidding me? Already, I've lost my thing. Yeah, so I get, get to get rid of a bag. Now, I have an extra project bag. That means I can start 15 more projects, right? Just kidding. No, I'm not planning on starting anything for a moment. We'll see. You know how that goes. I'll change my mind. And Nicola's got that other new one out. It's... Oh, crap. Something and Morrison, but I think they're backlogged on those. Actually... Okay, we gotta see where we need to be. Okay, so here's the edge. And I need to go up three. Three. Four. Over. Oh, come on, please. I don't wanna lose my spot. Oh, goodness gracious. Sure is a pretty colored red. It looks really good on this color. Oh, that. I looked up the, the material that I was using for this, and it is 16 count uh, country French mocha la or latte mocha or mocha latte. I wrote it down somewhere. And then the other one is Lamb's Wool. And they're both by Winchlet. Whoops. I now moved my pattern and I can't see what I'm doing. Oh, yeah. We're organized today. I'm telling you. But it sure is a pretty pattern. And I'm liking the colors, all right? They're okay. Some of them, I wasn't real sure when I looked at this pattern. Because this is a light pink. It's that light pink that's down there. So I think it'll be okay. I really do. Once it gets done. So, we'll see. And it, it's got very few colors. What is there? Two, three, four. 
there's 11 colors, but it looks like less. But it's a very nice pattern. It's easy to read. So I, I don't know. I really wasn't paying attention when she was doing all the little gems. So can't say that I would ever buy another one. I know the one with the checkerboard house I definitely do not want. That doesn't even look appealing unless them checkerboards could be changed. I mean, I could change it, but, you know, it's like, no, nah, I don't know. I just thought it was too busy. And sometimes I can't stitch on busy. I know this looks busy here, but, hey, it is what it is. <sighs> so I looked at my stuff on 123 Stitch, and it's not supposed to be sent out until the 21st or the 22nd, so it, it'll be a moment. And even if it gets sent those days, we'll see. Because sometimes, you know, they just keep changing those, those dates, and I understand. It's not that big a deal. Okay, so we got that, and that goes right there. I should have kept that green in a needle, but, you know. And when I made this last order, I ordered like 10 packs of those Peacemaker needles. Six or ten. I can't remember what I finally decided, but I was getting some more needles. These are okay. That's just, I prefer those. They're easier to turn corners with and and things, so. Oh, well. Yeah, it was a, a fight to the finish. And then I thought I, I did something wrong, so I frogged it out. And come to find out it was in the right position. I was looking at the wrong little flower. Oh, I was like six jumps ahead of a fit by the time I got done with that thing. I was happy to get it done, though. I won't have to look at it anymore. I can look at it on the wall. I won't have to look at it and go, God, I still got to do that. Yeah. It was okay. I mean, like I said, it went fairly fast. Shit. Um, especially when all you had to do was all that stitching. And the stitching was not too involved. It had lots of curly cues and, and stuff. It was pretty easy. I blazed through that part, but it was like getting the edges done. And it wasn't complicated. It was just, I just chose not to do it. You know, I found out. I received that thing probably, oh, somewhere about the first week of March. So, it took that long to get the gumption up to finish it. Fun times. And I couldn't believe I'd had that that long. But, I guess so. It was one of the first two or three small patterns because I was trying to buy small patterns <laughs> that worked out well for me to... yeah everything else beyond that has been freaking huge <coughs> so get rid of this out of my way I gotta have that other color it is 4622 it's kind of a, a pale mauve Whoops. Kind of a, a muted pink, if you will. Oh, for pity's sake. It's coming. Hang on. Really don't need a big piece. guess I've already used this thread and I just cut it again oh, well life goes on speeding right along it's speeded dirt around here so I haven't didn't work on anything else yesterday like I said I was tired yesterday morning and I just didn't even want to mess and so I got 
got dinner and sat down and I looked at that thing and I went, you know, this is going to bug me until I finish it. So I just started right in and it took like three hours with all the frogging and, and, and the, what do you call it? The frogging and poking myself and yeah, it was special special times and then I couldn't get the dog to shut up oh yeah it was it was special she looked dejected the whole evening she was ready to go to bed she's like are you finished with this thing yet I could just get hold of it Hush. Tuck my little tail in. Whoops. Almost stitched the wrong direction. Oh, goodness gracious. I thought we could get one little flower started. I don't know why they put that green in the center, I guess, just for for color. But it looks kind of weird. I don't want to change them out to yellow. So. Oh, well, darlings. can hear my I got those little things that they're solar dancers you put them in the Sun and I've got them for Christmas I showed them one time all on my window sill and they're making it they tick tick you know they move back and forth and it sounds like a clock ticking I guess that's why I like them it's a comforting sound but I got six of them in the window now maybe eight my windows aren't very big, and I'm going to have to clean off a shelf if I keep collecting them. It's my daughter's and my thing. She buys me one or I buy her one. It depends on the season or who's who gets to the dollar store first. So I've got one for... i got like two Santas, and i got a flower for spring that I got. And let's see what else. Oh, I got a butterfly in a in a round thing. I got that from the dollar store like three years ago, and it's still working. Because all the workings is encased in the plastic circle, like one of those dome things. It's not rounded. It's just kind of squared off on the top. But, yeah, I like them. And I had a dragon, and he died only because I dropped him in the sink two or three times, and he got wet. But he was my favorite, my little dragon. He was so cute. Did I get that in the right place? It looks like it's not squared off right. But I guess it's good. But it won't take any time at all to do this this section that I'm working on because there's like three flowers like this sort of well the other two are only half-ish and then there's like a vine that runs through it so it shouldn't take long and then the rest of their up there is just like 1857 and an R and an S and I'll be done with this page so it's kind of a short page I just started in this corner because of the other thing being on the other end. I haven't got stitched on it for a while. That ABC's from Jordan Purvey. Oy vey. I'm trying to see. Alright guys. Well, that wasn't too exciting today. I guess I should do those other two stitches and then call it good. Let's see. Did I, oh, 
usually I come up the same end. All right. But yeah, I haven't worked on the ABCs thing. I haven't been back to it. I've been doing other things, as you know. All right, guys. Well, I know that's not much, but that's going to be it for today. Thank you for joining me and stitching with me or just listening to me yak. I appreciate it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and please hit the bell and that way you'll know when my next video comes out. Y'all have a good rest of your Thursday and a good rest of your week. God bless. Bye-bye. See you next time. Stay safe.